All right, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. Hello, hello, my friends. Happy hump day. How are you guys doing? Cami, Obsidian, Ali, Dragon, hello. Good evening, my friends. It was good to see you guys. Yeehaw, 23 months. Hey, we're one month away from that year. <laughs> or two years, excuse me, two years. 24 months is two years, not one. Hi, Obsidian, how are you? It's always good to see you. This music makes you nostalgic. <laughs> it's not so nostalgic for me because I just got here. So it's just nice to listen to. <laughs> Hi, Erdin. How are you? Just had some dinner. Now about to pop onto Overwatch. It's true. It is Wednesday. Wednesday is the Overwatch night. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's week been so far? You guys all had a fantastic week so far? Me and my group aced our yoga exam. Okay, I have a question. About this yoga exam, Cammy. I feel like I always ask you questions about this. Maybe it's just because I'm a gigantic super nerd. Um, was the yoga exam like, did you have to do like, like it was like a fitness check kind of thing? Or was it like a, you had to write like a uh, class? Just for dinner myself, perfect timing. Sweet. What do you guys have for dinner? Obsidian, Ali, anybody else out there, I guess? And then Cammy, obviously your question is very specific. <laughs> pizza? Nobody can say pizza. The rule is nobody can say pizza. Ready to do poses in front of our instructor? Okay. Lasagna? Oh, I freaking love lasagna. Almost as much as I love pizza. What kind of, was it just like regular, regular lasagna? Was it, was it kind of embarrassing, Cammy? Like, like, I always feel weird. I don't know, like, doing yoga, you obviously do it, like, in a class. But I always feel kind of weird doing, like, yoga poses in front of people sometimes. Now I'm hungry. I just ate, and that's making me hungry, too. <laughs> Did you get a good grade in yoga? Something that is normal to want and possible to achieve? <laughs> it was fun, actually. My classmates are cool. Oh, you guys did it, like, as, as a whole group. Okay, that is actually kind of cool. <laughs> so it was, like, a yoga class. Like, basically, I just did yoga together. It was kind of cool. Sliders and potatoes in the... Blackstone for dinner. It was tasty. Ooh, that does sound really good. It was made from ramen noodles. It was very good though. Oh, really? Ramen noodles. Interesting. I um, what's the what's the Greek Greek lasagna called? Pastizio. I really like pastizio. It's pretty good. It's kind of kind of the same as what you were just talking about. Um, but it, it's not ramen noodles. Uh, it's like um, I think it's little penne's. It's really good. I like it a lot. It's kind of sweet, though. I do have a good grade. The professor grades by attendance and effort. Oh, nice. Dang, I missed the intro. Not by much, Dragon. Not by much. I just said hello. How are you? That's all. I'm a huge pasta lover. Me too. Being a big runner helps a lot when you like pasta. <laughs> I could just down a whole bunch. Hi, Elaine. How are you? I could just down a whole bunch of uh, pasta and then go run the next day. It was good to see you, Elaine. I think it said that you were waiting in the YouTube chat because when I pull up my YouTube chat, I like pop it out of the dashboard and in the dashboard I like a crudded load of information in there. Um, it was like one person is waiting. <laughs> like when you open up like a Google Teams meeting at work or something and they're like, hey, this one person wants to get in, but they can't get in. Let them in. <laughs> work out every day after work. Me too. Me too. What do you do, Allie? You hit the weights. Ugh. Get huge. We used to when I was in when I was in high school. Uh, we would finish, we would we would run and then we would come back and we would do the we would do the lift before or lift after depending on like who had the weight room during the day and we would always be like huge like because like, they've got like mirrors and stuff all over the place and, like big and like we're all like little you know cross country runners but like you know we 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 were, we were trying. <laughs> I heard a sound in my kitchen just before you started. I had the windows open because I was cooking earlier and there's about to be a storm coming through. I blew, it blew over a bottle of, oh no. Shit dragon, so that's what you were cleaning in, for the intro? <laughs> Arkin, what's going on? Everybody thank Arkin for his wonderful idea in the Discord in the question section. If you haven't seen it, Arkin is going to be fielding uh, a lot of it and I'm just gonna be sitting here looking pretty um, and, uh, you know, potentially, hopefully, following through with everything that he's looking forward to, so. I use old workout videos, I do weights and stuff, oh, that's sick, yeah, that's nice. 
with a 10 out of 10 idea from Arkin. So Arkin is going to be doing a lot of the recording for me. Uh, he messaged me and offered to do it for me. So when we decide to sit down and do it, um, it will be the first time I'm seeing a lot of these characters running. I'm probably going to do, just as like a heads up, I'll probably do Lala first and then we'll go in like a random order after that. The only reason I want to do Lala first is because I play a Lala and I know what they run like and I already have. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to say. Because. <laughs> Dude's got bad running form, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wish I have as many alts in every expansion. Why is that the seat of 14? So you can redo all of the expansions whenever you want. Is, it, is there not like New Game Plus for every expansion like there is in Realm Reborn? Listen, you guys, the Lalas don't run fantastically. Also, Arkin, I had a thought. I think Actually, I think I told you this already, but do, do them like as regular run as a sprint run too. Because the difference in the Lala regular run and the sprint run is huge, and I have so much information. <laughs> All of us have no knees and elbows. It's true. It's really hard to get that, you know, the <laughs> the, the mechanics down when it looks like that. <laughs> you don't bend the knee. Who's your Rothgar running model? Um, Pantos Girl, if you go with Arkin on that. I don't know if he's just going to make a new character and have it run or what he's doing. So any, anybody who wants to be the model, get with Arkin and uh, and, uh, and see what's going on. Or he's making, yeah, if he's making all new characters or whatever. But if you want to be uh, a model or something, um, yeah. Arkin, I don't want to just say DM you because I don't want to just th throw that out there. But all of us have knees, but they only use them to sit. <laughs> Me too. Me too. All right, you guys, I did this poll for anybody out there um, on the dis on the on the YouTubes today uh, about what is happening tonight and I did a list of things so you guys can kind of see the spread of things I don't know how can you guys see that can you guys see this okay how's that, is that better for you guys <laughs> <laughs> it'd be fun to make it a community thing yeah that'd be sick for sure what's going on favor how are you buddy I think yeah I mean I don't yeah whatever you guys want to do should we should we do it where not only do I um, give advice on like the running forms, but I also try to guess who it is. <laughs> so I did this 12 hours ago um, this morning, um, 12 hours ago, I don't think that's accurate because I definitely did it at 7 o'clock this morning. And it was like 14 people voted. It says, what happens tonight when we return to the Exarch after helping in Holminster Switch? The options go on a mass murder spread, which um, was the winner. And uh, fits very well with me, and, and, and you know, if you guys know me, you know that that's what we like to do out here. Lots of murdering. <laughs> we go to find Yurian J, Sol, and Thancred, 21%. This could be accurate. This could actually be what happens next. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Hello! Alu. Alu. Hello, Mel, how are you? The murderous Lala and his toothpick sword. That's right. And we just take down everybody in the Crystarium. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't like this. Uh, the Sin Eaters invade the Crystarium. This could happen. Why is that not? Why is that not a thing that could happen? This could totally happen. Uh, the Exarch leaves. His work here is done, and now it's up to us. Fourteen percent said that. I really hope that this is not going to happen because I, I don't have it in me. <laughs> I, I don't have it in me. What's going on, Mel? And then we finally get a long rest. Um, I didn't realize that this sounded like death, but this almost won. <laughs> <laughs> this almost won. <laughs> so yeah, so those are those are those are the options of what has occurred um, as far as this evening. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm fantastic, Mel. Thank you so much for asking. We're just chilling. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, before we jumped into the game, because I had a lot of fun making that together. The final rest of the Warrior of Light. I mean, we have a whole other expansion, but hopefully. Hopefully this isn't the final rest. Make sure you have enough supplies for a long rest. Ooh, true. That's a uh, that's a Baldur's Gate 3 reference, y'all. I assume. I assume it's a Baldur's Gate 3. I assume that's just like a D&D reference in general, I bet. Sorry I missed last stream. I was doing school reading. No worries. No worries at all. We uh, we did some heavy hitting in some, uh, some Horizon Zero Dawn. So, uh, you know, you missed a lot. You missed a ton of stuff. The, the video's in the works. I've got the script basically all written up, so I'll have it up and out, so no worries. No worries at all. Exactly. Pantos is right. School is important. Stay in school, kids. Stay <laughs> Pantos, you said it right after I said At least I got the message right after, right after I said it. <laughs> I bought 40 supple packs. Am I good? I sure hope so. I sure freaking hope so. 
same brain cell, that's right. We all just kind of share the same brain cell and we pass around. Alright, looks like Arkin has found me already. We're looking for two more people. I see... I see somebody in the distance. I can't read the name yet, though. So we need one more person, and then we can jump into some, uh, some dungeons when you guys are ready to go. If you want. Don't feel like you have to come. We'll probably jump into them in, like, a minute or two. Um, so if you want to come, you know... I've also been spending a ton of time with all the baby chickens. I love them so much. Baby chickens are really cute. Do you have any pictures, Mel? How dare you not send us pictures in the Discord? This is blasphemy. I'm showing all these cute pictures of my babies. And we don't get any baby chickens. Look, there's even a baby bee. Also, Cammy, what is that thing behind the baby bee in that picture? Is that just like a little leaf or something? You're asking for chick pics? I am asking for chick pics, exactly. I, I just had two baby turkeys fall asleep with my legs. Oh, that's so cute! Oh yeah, that's a leaf. It looks like a leaf, for sure. Uh, I forgot to turn this off. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I posted that whole place we're holding. You know what? We're gonna do this. And we're just gonna wait. Right here, and we're just gonna look for him. Here you go. Wait, hold on. There you go. There you guys go. We're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the baby chicken pictures. My friends on YouTube, how is everybody? Are you guys all fantastic? For anybody out there who is new, I do stream on both YouTube and Twitch. So if I read a message or if I say something to somebody and you didn't see a message, it's not that you're insane or you're going crazy. Uh, there is this entirely separate chat that I'm reading. <laughs> on both YouTube and, and Twitch, vice versa, you know. How long, how long do we wait? God, Mel, what's going on? Holy crap. Where are these pictures? I feel like we're waiting a million years. I just assume you were the insane one, not me. I mean, that's actually, that's actually, that's actually fine. I'm fine with that, actually. Yeah, I would too, to be honest. Let me see, how many people we got near me now? Okay, we have plenty of people. I don't know who the first three people were here, so between the three of you guys, fight to the death. Who's coming with me? <laughs> oh, did I put the picks up? Elon Musk, internet fam. I got here last. Oh, did you, Cammy? Okay, well, them's the rules, Cammy. Appreciate being honest. Let's see, what do these chickies look like? Let me see, chickies? Hold on, you guys want to see the chickies? I was in the last two dungeon runs, so I was okay. We'll grab. We will grab. Um, we will grab. Uh, can we then? Look at the baby chickies. Look at them. They're so cute. They're so naked. Why are they so naked for? Look at them. They're so cute, though. Oh my gosh! Look at them all. Oh, you guys, look at um chickens and turkeys. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask about this guy here. No, this guy. Was it this guy? One of them. One of them looks like a turkey. Like, it looks like a drumstick. You could just eat it up. Baby birds are naked until they get their baby fluff. I think they're so cute. Look at them. Who did this? Fravor did the twep. Get out of here, Fravor. All right, nerds. I think they're super cute. Thank you for showing that, Mel. We love baby pictures here. Baby raptor evolution. <laughs> yes, they're in their beginning stages of evolution. For surezies. All right, shall we? Let me get these friends in a party here. We'll go slam this dungeon really quickly. Also, if you guys missed the short, um, I did put up a short for um, the last dungeon run that we did uh, where nothing crazy happened and I didn't hurt anyone. Right? Right, Arkin? Right? True facts. Correct. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a normal, a normal dungeon run, right? Right? Hard facts. Everyone was super safe. <laughs> oh, who's our tank? Okay, oh, he's our tank. Stick. I mean, your VODs are short, am I right? They are pretty short. The PvP dungeon run, is that what this is? Or are you referring to the comment on my, uh... Because I feel like we always get this one. 
This is the dungeon we always run. This is the this is like the like every time we run this, this is the dungeon we get. Every time I do this. Oh, are you or are you referring to the uh, the spread mechanic where I take the spread mechanic and put on everybody a lane? Music is still on. It's the music in the game. Or do I have it on? This should be the music in the game. I don't have anything up in the background. Am I right with you too? Is this the nearest level you are? Yeah, I think so. Probably. I'm 64? 60... Oh, I'm 58. Wow, I thought I was in, oh, I'm in the 60s already. So yes, yeah, so this is probably the closest dungeon to me. It was yours? Okay, I was like, I don't, I don't think I have anything up. I appreciate you telling me though. <laughs> What's going on here? How dare you play music, Arkin, while we're running this dungeon together, or while my stream is on? You should only have my stream up. Hello? What do you mean target is not in range? He's right in front of me. Yeah, no, I know, and that's why that's why we keep getting it because I, I have it set to that. And I haven't said that on purpose, so I get the most amount of experience out of it. I just figured I would have gotten enough levels by now to take me somewhere else. Like, this gotta be a 58 dungeon, right? Or a 60? I don't usually have the Final Fantasy 14 music on, but I did this time, so I'm confused. No. Not necessarily, like, surprise. More of just, like, oh, wow. So, like, I guess, I guess a little surprise, because I was kind of hoping that we would get something else. Is there is there like a fifty is there not like a fifty eight or something dungeon or is this all that we get? I suck, dude. I freaking suck. I I'm so bad at this. Coming over here because I don't I don't remember what that does. Ow! Oh, that was supposed to be an in. That was my bad. Um, is this an Audi? I didn't look. Okay, we just get shit on. Nice, cool. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna take as much damage as I can here, actually, is what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna make sure that I soak everything. All the damage that I can possibly soak up, I'm gonna soak up. What am I, what am I connected to? Likely to be targeted, why? Why am I likely to be targeted by lightning? What is happening? What am I supposed to do to get rid of that? 57 is the vault? Oh, I don't wanna do the vault either. Don't forget to grief kills on last month. 55, 57, 59 leveling dungeons are on odd levels. That is odd, but you would think that they would give us something. Like, you would think that we would get something, um, something else besides this. That's why I think it's weird that we keep getting this dungeon. So yeah, so I guess there is, there is the element of surprise, um, that we are, that we keep getting this dungeon. Hello? I I don't know why you guys run these dungeons with me, because I never pay attention. And if you're my healer in these dungeons, I feel like I owe you, like, alcohol after these runs. <laughs> Take the tether to the tower at the edge of the arena. Oh, I've never gotten that before. Okay. I mean, what? Don't grieve me. Excuse me? Ex excuse me? Oh, you want some alcohol, Mel? Is that what you're? Is that what the excuse me is for? I just mean because I play so bad when we were in these dungeons while I'm a red mage. Remember the blame game is all your. <laughs> I didn't blame you. Shut up! No, I didn't. I blamed myself for our wipe. One bazillion. I don't think I've ever blamed my healer, especially as the tank. It's never the healer's fault. No, why'd I die? That is not what happened. <laughs> Don't make me look like a bad guy. Oh, no, everyone's dying. That is not what happened. <laughs> Somebody back me up, please. Somebody back me up, please. Help. 
Um, why did I not? I just ate that? GG's. My brain, my brain sucks, you guys. My brain is not with it at all tonight. Okay, that was terrible. I just jumped in there to do that. I have nightmares still. Shut up. <laughs> Chad is not backing me up. Nobody's helping me. Nobody's saying that didn't happen. You guys were all here for that. I remember. How dare you guys not back me up? Mel's right. Mel's not right. Mel is incorrect. This freaking little crap. Dude, this little crap dude. Okay. Okay. Not today, please. Uh, I think I have threat on this baby dragon. No, I have threat on the red dragon. The big red dragon. Help! Oh, Cammy, you got me. Cammy's got me. I remember a fish. Ali, I don't think you were here yet. <laughs> you guys, I was playing... I've been playing a lot of, um... Maybe not like necessarily like a lot. I played 12 hours over the last week um, of Throne and Liberty. And it was okay. Uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. But like my brain is now in Throne and Liberty mode and not Final Fantasy mode. And so like there's certain buttons that I want to push that make absolutely no sense to push right now. Because they're not a they're not a thing to push in this game. I don't remember what this does, but I'm going to use it. Um, I think I'm lagging. GG's. Oh! I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I'm so sorry. I think I'm dead. I hate this. Oh no! Ah! You can't get me, sucker. Woo! I'm trying to pay attention, chat, so shush. Look, guys, I found the safe spot, actually. I think this is the first time I've done that fight without getting hit by, like, every single one of those. <laughs> Mel, I never blamed you. I think this is the hat I'm wearing, actually. It's the hat of healing. Wait, am I actually wearing the hat of healing? But I'm wearing the hat of casting. Yay, 80. Wait, did you just ding 80? Nice, came congrats. I do have a video on YouTube that says that forever. That is true. Uh, he's dead. Kill him. Nice. Boing. What is tonight? What are we doing? Tonight? Oh yeah, we just finished Holminster. So for anybody out there who's interested in the video for Holminster, um, it went out today, from last week. Just do exclamation mark FFXIB, it'll pop up for you guys. Um, and tonight we're gonna go see um, I think we're talking with Alfie first. Probably because Alice is very sad about um, having to murder Teslin.
And so after this, we'll be talking to Alfie and see what's up. See what's up, see where we're going, see what's going down. I know, I reckon I'm sad too. Guys, I have to focus. So shush. Spit down in the chat, y'all. Uh. Okay, I can't, I don't do enough damage to hit these things. Honestly, yeah, it still hurts. So it makes me sad. A little sad. I missed Holminster live, but I had to help some people with P12. So worries, Oki. Like I said, it should be up on the uh, on the YouTube if you're interested in watching it. But uh, obviously, no worries at all if you if you don't. It's a it's it's a pretty quick tidbit, honestly. Like there's not a whole lot that goes on. Um Okay, okay. I would like to hit some stuff here, please. Jesus. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Keep doing all the damage because my attention span is awful. Excuse me. Everybody quiet! <laughs> All right, here we go. Who gets it this time? Who wants it? Who is it? Oki? Oki's the other person here, so Oki. Looks like it's you. Unless I get rescued into it, which is quite possible. Ow. Hurt. Hurted. Hurted a lot. Hurted so much. Wait, what is happening here? Ay ya, dude. Relax, bro. Dude is so mad. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I saw you both posturing. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh no, I went early. Shoot. Wait, I save you. I save you. There you go. I saved your life. You're welcome. Now you can't get me. Why is the music getting really loud? I feel like the music got incredibly loud there for a second. Just a little damage hug, that's right. Stack for the spreadable. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, hot wings! Oh, I don't know, eyeball. Away from me! Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> All right, well, this has become a weekly thing, which I'm totally okay with. <laughs> I'm gonna die here, I think. I don't know if that was done on purpose or not. I feel like that might not be done on purpose. And if it was, I applaud you, sir. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh man.
<laughs> just bullied that whole fight. I have to like try to survive the whole time too. It's ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Frednick, how's it going, man? I debated running away with this stack because it would have been funny. <laughs> It would have been really funny. <laughs> I missed the old way this dungeon used to be. I heard it was... Wasn't it harder? Didn't it used to be harder? Cammy, I love your backpack. I think it's fantastic. Didn't the dungeon used to be harder? You tw twiggered the tw Twitch chat and rage. It's true. Yeah, it came in, they, you guys came and got me. I totally deserve it, though. I think it was bad when we're like an hour into attempts. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 did I miss something? Hold on. My FC has started playing the game. How close do the healers can tanks get with their AoE tank busters? Oh, no! Oh, no. That's not good. That's not what you want. You don't want that. That sounds terrible. That doesn't sound like a good time. I really want this backpack, y'all. When can I get this backpack? This is an Endwalker thing, right? This backpack here? It was hard on release, but after we started getting synced down, it was much, much easier. Oh, okay shenanigans. I don't remember it being harder so much as you had a stadium being awesome. <laughs> okay. Finishing 6 point for fuck. <laughs> so I'll see it in like a year. <laughs> had to meet RP. We have to protect a stadium while he did some stuff with you. Oh, okay, cool. So that's what, um, that's what Mal's talking about. Like a stadium RP. That's kind of cool. I got it when I stopped progressing the MSQ. My friend and I play how close can we get to each other with the spreads and freak out our pool here later. I will never do that. I will never stack a spread mechanic like that with somebody that I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, just because you never know. You never know who you can make off, who you can piss off, you know. I suddenly got in the balloon to leave Ulda. You should. It really opens the game up a lot, dude. That is an outfit. I like that outfit a lot. I like I like both their outfits. I like all the outfits here in front of me right now. I think they all look great. I love the backpack for sure. Una Westfallen. They're in a. What is that? What is that? Does that mean G? Does that mean they're in a in a FC called G? I love the fan fest with Sak Sakaguchi chase Yoshi P down with an AOE tank buster. Oh really? I haven't, so I haven't watched a lot of that stuff. Um, I see some highlights of Yoshi P, um, and they seem great. I can't wait until I can start like watching stuff. You like my dad shoes with the drawers? I think it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Would you really be a pantsless dragon if you didn't wear shorts? Sakaguchi is the creator of Final Fantasy. Oh, sick. Okay, that is hilarious, and I love Yoshi P too. I wish I could bring my main to come hang out. I would play more with you all. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Mel. You and your, you and your. EU server. Who is this person? This person literally came over here, targeted each and every one of us, and now they're leaving. Is that the, um, that's the armor for the most recent event, isn't it, Erkin? Those really are dad shorts. I wear, I swear my dad has that exact fit. Shut up. No, he doesn't. No freaking way. That'd be hilarious. Oh, is it old armor? Okay. Isn't there like a new event that's going to come out? I don't know if it's out yet, but isn't there an event coming out that's going to give you the armor that uh, Alfie's wearing in this expansion? Stupid adventure plates pops? Yeah, problem. I don't even know what mine is. There you go. Hi, I have no idea what I'm doing. Always. Perfect. <laughs> that's about right. It says level 71 warrior. Perfect. Alfie's outfit is on the cat. Oh, it's on the cash shop. Oh, I thought it was a um, like a quest or something. Oh, it's like, there's a cash shop thing. Dang it. If you just set up and judge quietly, then left. Such disrespect. Yeah, at least tell me it sucks. Jesus. So yeah, main scenario: dungeons, trials, raids. I'm a new adventurer, and I'm a casual. I'm a freaking filthy casual. So wait, wait. What time is this? This is 12 p.m. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's actually accurate. But I don't play on the weekends. And if I did, it wouldn't be till 1 o'clock in the morning. I tell you what. Well, I guess midnight. Or is that 11? Whatever. Who knows. The low price of $36 for a single character. Holy crap. Like the Ice Heart outfit, you can basically get it in-game anyway. Oh, can you? I didn't know that. I'm coming to find y'all. We are just chilling. 
I'm gonna probably go talk to Alfie though here in a second. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being in the dungeon with me. It's always so much fun. Do you guys like? I know we talked about it when Shadowbringers started. You guys like starting the stream like that, right? That's a lot of fun for you guys too. You guys enjoy it. I think it's hilarious, and I love it, and we get a lot of good content out of it. So, yeah, yeah, okay. Because we could sit here and we could just chat like we used to do, um, but I also I got a lot of leveling to do. <laughs> I, uh, my red mage is still only 58. <laughs> uh, which is a huge ripperoos. I gotta get him, I gotta get him up. But I'll, I'll get him up, um, uh, eventually, I'm sure. Now that, um, like it's better than just chatting, you're still just chatting, but you're being productive. And somebody like me, Mir, that's good. That's really good. This is a good start to the stream. Okay, sick. I what I I love doing this with you guys, hanging out here because people always like the random people who come and hang out with us is awesome. Or they just like are like, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> the, or all the people who are like, who are like, when we were um, when we were all in our uh, have been cows. Sorry, my brain is not great. When we were all in our have been cows, and they were like, is this a cult? Are you guys in a cult? Is this guy dead? What happened? <laughs> right, shall we? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? We have to go talk to Alfie now. Are you guys ready to go speak with Alfie now? The Exarch is looking ahead to the immediate future. Hey, MSQ. Hello. Hi, Kiki Cat. How are you? Welcome, man. So it's good to see you. The sad thing is that they didn't join the call. It's true. I don't think anybody did. Um, but there's been a couple times like people have come and hang out with us and they've like directly messaged me and be like, hey, enjoy the MSQ. You know, they just told me we were a streamer and hope you have fun. Like, that's cool. Like, that's really nice. Are you guys gonna kill yourselves? single brain cell yeah we're literally just passing the brain cell around here i volunteer distribute what is going on you guys give me the brain cell so i can go do the msq i'm revoking your brain cell privileges hope you do the msq fields of death no don't tell me that we don't need it anymore it's all yours <laughs> what's really funny about this is pantsless now is in like a freaking KKK outfit over your dead bodies. <laughs> but dad said, dad said it's my turn with the brain cell. No, pantsless. <laughs> this poor brain cell is going to be so tired. Hashtag not a call. That's right, KKK. Cat. He's a necro. It's a call. It's definitely a call. <laughs> Are we passing around the talking stick? Is this therapy? No, I get the brain cell. Only me. This person's like, what is going on here? Do you, do you really want to know? What happened? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Death happened, obviously. <laughs> Join us. Oh my god. You guys are ridiculous. Give them the Kool-Aid? Now it's time to clean up. Alright nerds, I'm taking the brain cell and I'm going to start the MSQ. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Have fun. Oh man, you guys are hilarious. Ridiculous. Abscond with the <laughs> abscond with it. It was mine to begin with. Quick before it's needed again. <laughs> As you guys all get up, <laughs> let me get the nut can out. Let me get some water here, and let's talk to Alfie. So for anybody who wasn't here last time, um, we went to Holminster. We went to Hollister in the mall. We went to Holminster Switch, and um, we killed Tesline. We killed our first. 
Is it Light Warden or Light Bringer? I think it's Light Warden. And the idea behind the Light Wardens is that when you kill them, they like ooze into the light. And instead of the light, when you kill them, instead of the light like dispersing, which is how we would hope to save uh, the first, um, the light just goes into somebody else and then they become the Light Warden. And so before we went into Holminster, the Exarch was kind of being very like cryptic about like, oh, like, you know, we'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. Um, and apparently we are the Shadowbringer. We are the Warrior of Darkness. Um, this expansion is about us. We absorb the light, we dispense it into the sky, and we have gotten rid of the light. Um, and now the Crystarium has uh, normal um, normal uh, weather. <laughs> but nobody can know. We don't know why yet, but nobody can know. And so I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, and now we're back here in the Crystarium, meeting with... Mitchy my leg. Meeting with, um... The Exarch to see, uh, what the next moves are for the future. Which is where that poll came from in the YouTube that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, as far as the multiple different choices that we had. And I believe committing a massacre was the one who won, so we'll see what happens. Where does Hollister come in? <laughs> So when we were on our way, uh, when I read Hallminster for the first time, I believe I read it as Hollister. Um, and we immediately had a whole tangent last time about Hollister and shirts and that the Sin Eaters are actually upset because they're cold and they want sweaters or hoodies. Yeah, exactly, Mo. Um, that's what happened. <laughs> so Hallminster Switch is actually Hollister. Oh, were you looking for that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. <laughs> So yeah, so let's see what Alfie has to say, uh, because Alice, I believe Alice went back to the village uh, after everything had happened, and she's chilling there now, so Alfie and I are going to check in uh, with Exarch. Alright, Alfie, what's goodie? Well, the Quisterium seems relatively ordered, would you say? The Exarch's speech must have been reassuring to hear. Wait, we didn't get to hear it? On the contrary, there's something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night won't be quite as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I should take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you've discharged your duty to Braggy, I suggest you do the same. Oh. Sleep well, Killzor. I hope untroubled dreams find you and Alice they both. So the Warrior of Darkness, so Ardbert is going to come. Ardfrick, right? Ardfrick is going to come join us. He's going to come visit us in our sleep, probably. And we're going to have a wonderful conversation about why he's actually the Warrior of Darkness and I'm not. He's, he's the bringer of chaos, the bringer of light, the bringer of dark, the bringer of darkness, yeah, 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 the bringer of shadows, Sh the shadow bringers, yep, nailed it. Alright, Braggy, I don't remember what I'm bringing to Braggy, though, I did forget about bringing Braggy, whatever it is I need to bring him, I forgot already where I'm bringing him. I? What can I do for you? Look to buy a lantern, like every other stumbling soul in the city? No, not yet, but maybe sometime in the future. I see. Well, Captain Lena can rest assured that any potions I spot coming in will be set aside for the wounded. Oh, yeah. Hang on a moment. If you're carrying messages for the guard, does that mean you were there, then? The Battle of Holminster? A stalwart lad like you might want to pay a visit to the Wandering Stairs. Make himself known. I'm sure Glynard can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Braggy? Yeah! F you, Braggy. Call me a dwarf. Rude. I haven't seen a single other Lala here, though, by the way. Am I crazy? Are there Lala's here? I just haven't been seeing them. Does nobody play Lala's? No, so I guess not characters. Um, I guess we, we just saw a Lala character. But, like, I haven't seen any Lala NPCs. Are they, like, real dwarves and they live in, like, mountains and in the ground? You just saw one of the fire dresses as Tombray? Correct. <laughs> I meant like, oh look, here's one, just kidding, Giat. there's one dwarf. Cinders ate them, little legs couldn't run them, no, not the dwarves. True shit, <laughs> dwarves aren't allowed in the Crystallium, remember? There's one right here. And why am I allowed?
I thought Bra Braggy said he had Braggy said he had gear for us in our size. And that's how we found out we were a dwarf. Alright, Glinard. Glinard. The Costa del Sol music. Wait, does he have a thing on his forehead? Is he a Garlean? Sayella, more beer for table two and a couple of pints of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. What is on his forehead? Let me see your forehead, sir. What is that? The tattoo? Sorry, we're rushed off of our feet today, sir. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. Hmm? Oh, that braggy has a twisted sense of humor. What? To think he'd send you to me at a time like this! The first real night in near a hundred years has folk all riled up and then some. What's more, there was that eater business at Holminster Switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace, and it was the Warrior of Darkness who did the deed. Oh, weird, crazy. Who could that be? I really must apologize for Clinard. He's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warrior's appearance was the spark to their kindling. You know how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? Yes. Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than Holminster for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen every day, praise the blessed shadow. No, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again, an eater will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. They're a danger to everyone, so the settlement council put bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them were inspired by the warden slaying even more than most. These are the types who have their sights set on the absolute worst of the strays, a class of eaters that have been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The Virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the description given by survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, they are also reported to be as tough as light wardens. Not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Okay. Our virtue hunters had all but given up, but knowing the warrior of darkness is out there has lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at them. Where are they? Show me. <clears throat> that Hume over there with the oversized sword is Granson. He's in it for revenge. Wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. The missile lad is Lurek. Lurik? Reek? Lurik. Don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's as hard a hunter as they come. He, ju he just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. Those pants, though. That's Sirig. Word is he seeks an expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. Do I have to pick one of these guys? Last we have Giat, dwarf and drunkard both, wanted to join forces with a healer and only a healer. Think about needing a mender's wisdom. Okay, so these, wait, are these the roll quests? Ah, see pantsless, I got it before you told me. I've seen my share of competent veterans and you have that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of our hunters, who knows? Together you might even collect the bounty of a cardinal virtue. <clears throat> Now there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. You, get, you have gained access to roll quests. A separate quest line and story is now available for tank, physical DPS, magical range DPS, and healer rolls. In order to reach the final stages of the Shadowbringer's main scenario, you must complete at least one roll quest line. Speak with a virtue hunter at the Wandering Stairs to accept a quest offer. My nose is itchy, you guys. It's pissing me off. Okay, um, so then the one that I need to speak with is this guy, is the Granston guy way over there. <clears throat> but I'm going to let those sit for now, I think. 
I kind of want to do them all in one fell swoop. I kind of want to get to the point in the MSQ where we need it, and then we just come over here and we just knock them all out. What do you guys think? Is that, is that a good idea? Or should we do them gradually over time? Alright, it is... We're about five minutes out from an ad being run. Love the roll quests? They should be a lot of fun. That's what, that's what, that's what we picked up all these other classes for, or all these other jobs for, is hopefully one day we can get to them. Um, we are currently about five minutes. They still have progressive level requirements. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. 79-ish then? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. We'll see you soon, buddy. That's right. I think either the healer or magical DPS is my fave. They, they, they are designed to be spread out, but it's not needed. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear, I guess time goes on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run a commercial here for you guys. So, um, for anybody new out there, if you're over on Twitch, I'm slamming a command for you. Otherwise, if you're over on YouTube, you probably get nothing. Um, every hour or so, I try to run three minutes of ads. What that does is it disables pre-rolls, but it also lets me control when you see the ads so you guys can hear anything while we're doing anything. I'm going to get up. My nose is running. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. It's kind of pissing me off. Um, I'm going to drink some water, go wipe my nose, and, uh, you know, you guys get up, get some treats, stretch your, le stretch your legs, and we will be right back in a couple minutes. Okay, catch you guys soon. If you're subbed, you don't get any ads, and we're gonna, uh, we'll probably still wait, but, uh, I will be right back regardless. <clears throat> I'm back. I hope it's not running faster than you. You gotta be pretty fast to run faster than me. <laughs> I hate myself for that one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, Mel. I'll give it to you. I thought it was pretty funny. Alright, so people who voted in the YouTube as far as this being a sleepy time um, were correct. Mel, is your refrigerator running? Oh my god, I know where this is going. Shut up. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> no. Better hurry up and catch it. <laughs> your power is out again? It wasn't your internet like messing up last time? You have so many issues, Mel. Maybe you should move out of Florida. Florida sounds like a terrible place to be. I feel like the whole time you've lived there, all you've had is issues. <laughs> Next, the alligators are going to get up and start walking. My power isn't out. I'm avoiding the... <laughs> Poor chickens! Did you imagine the chickens if your if your power was actually out? That would be terrible. Hello, all my non-subbies. Welcome back from your commercial. Are you guys ready to take to hit the hay? You guys ready to go see what's going on in here? Master manager of sweets. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. I wonder if anyone can sleep with the city in such an uproar. But will you be retiring to your quarters? Yes, I'm ready to speak with Ardbert. Hitting the hay, going to Eep. That's right. Very good. In light of the present situation, I have had illumination prepared for all our rooms. 
No need to rush to the markets for lanterns or candles. Have a pleasant rest, sir. Aw, uh, thanks, dude. All right. We are the warrior of darkness. The bringer of darkness. Alright, so our bird is for sure going to visit us, right? Like, every time we retire to our room is an opportunity for our bird to come and talk to us, right? Which means we're probably going to develop a relationship with him. And something terrible is going to happen at the end, huh? Or we're going to find out that he is us and he's going to leave or something. Like, he's not, he's going to cease to exist at the end of Shadowbringers. And it's going to be, like, sad and emotional. What's up, so dude? it's your lot's turn to be the Warriors of Darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Yeah. <clears throat> Been watching, have you? My boy. Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmor and then on to Armorang. And I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Yeah. I know I saw you creeping in the background. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Do you? Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. I would say so. I would say Alice and Alfie are my friends through thick and thin. I would do a lot of things for those two. <laughs> Bro, clean your axe. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. Not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder. What will it cost you this time? I hate that we're having this conversation this early because that means something awful is going to happen. And Stormblood was pretty good. Stormblood was pretty tame. Which means our hearts are going to be ripped out. And I remember you guys telling me that this story was written by the same person who wrote the Dark, who wrote the dark Knight job classes. So I'm ready. I'm ready. What else could happen? Pantsless, a lot could happen. I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. <clears throat> I don't... what? I wouldn't call them nagging burdens. That's crazy. So this is what the light was hiding. He's here. I must go to him. I'm more confused now than I was when we watched the Shadow Ringers trailer. It's going to take her a million years to walk to us if that's what she's doing. Meanwhile, inside an Imperial Magitech facility in the source, god damn it. Oh no, the the intruders. Turn out and fight them. The fart gas. Astinian. Yeah, our boy. Out of my way. Jesus, Justinian. Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting conversation. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Justinian, I presume. The Dragoon who plucked the Warrior of Light from the Jaws of Death. Your armor is most distinct. Yeah, don't kill them. Relax. Much as yours once was. But even without it, 
I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. This is actually so cool. <laughs> Van Bailsa in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. Ooh. <laughs> Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. Who? Someone's gonna take your place? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I guess maybe Obsidian is is taking our place, huh? I swear that receptionist was trained as a spy. <laughs> Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of your ether. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. Correct. One of their champion. Sleeping too. Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. The Black Rose, the stinky fart that's killing everybody. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. Okay, so what do you... Can we... How do we help these guys? There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. That poor lady, she's so mad at him. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease. Much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Oh my god, that's barbaric. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant. And all without damaging a single structure. Jesus. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Seristinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. They just did your mission for you. No, Varus himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. True, he did say that. I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garland. The buddy got movie we all wanted. <laughs> Do you think they'll hold hands and skip? No. <laughs> I do not. What? <laughs> Batman with Batman Adventures? That's right. Proper respect for the La La Ladies. Fear them. The Sidian, I now have two fears. <laughs> that was crazy. What? Biological warfare is scary. It's super scary, dude. The Sidian has no chill. That's true. Who's that little kid? That was out there. You couldn't muscle through Tachru. <laughs> Ultimate poor guy, it's true. <laughs> I, I... Okay, so now that we're not out there anymore, they have conscripted Astinian into the Scions. I thought he had been subscripted into the Scions before that, and I was like, how? Why? What? No one told me. You know, because he, he was in um, the Stormblood expansion, even if it was like a small little bit. He was there. Kind of running around with us um <clears throat> it felt kind of you know like odd so it's interesting that he has been pulled back into he's not back into but he has been pulled into the scions now after all that 
Um, I think it's a little weird. And maybe it'll probably be explained a little later. Um, and then Gaius and Asinia working together to beat Varys, which has been discovered by the Scions. Var Gaius is now going to Garlemald to confront them about the founding being found by Asians. That was him tracking down the eyes and keeping an eye on Alfie. But I knew he was... Oh, I guess that's true. Because at the end of Stormblood, he kills... Um, he does finish the eyes. That's true, actually. You're right, Rando. And of course, he's keeping an eye on Alfie because Alfie and him are a thing, and it's cute. <laughs> he was just running around doing his own thing and thinking a normal amount about Alphino and what he would want to do to him. <laughs> you guys both made the same joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. I hope they see each other again. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, so that kind of sums the whole story up. Hi, buddy! You guys want to say hello to Henry? What's up, little boy? You want to say hi to everybody? You want, you want to say hi? Come here. What time is it? You got 40 minutes till dinner time, little bro. You got a while. Hungry? Tell mommy that you're hungry. Ellie? Yeah, it's hot in here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, go tell mommy. Hey, mom, I want my food. Yeah, go tell her. Go tell her. <laughs> oh, the baby boy! That's right, little Henry. Yeah, it's warm in here. I don't really want him hanging out in here. It's way warmer in here than it is in the rest of the house. Oh, poor little dude, just hungry. The hungry little man. Night theme. Oh, the music. Is it good? It is good. Are you in the bean doing okay now? Um, it gets better like every week. Slowly, I feel like. Um. You know, we are trying some stuff with them, trying some medications and stuff with them. Because um, we don't want to, like, completely sedate him, but she, like, hates his guts. Uh, we also, you know, have some other stuff going on with them. And so they're both on, like, a really small amount of gabapentin right now to help, like, take the edge off of, you know, the medical stuff that's going on with them, as well as, like, their um, social anxiety with each other. Uh, so hopefully... <laughs> You know, with time, he runs at her a lot less. Um, she hisses at him a lot less. Uh, we play with him together. We give them treats together, um, and so they're, for the most part, I feel like I would say like ninety percent of the time they're fine. Uh, but that ten percent is like, oh man, it's just like ridiculous. Um, so yeah. So short answer, no. Uh, long answer, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that answers that exactly. We get better. We keep we keep saying that, and it's one of those things where it's like, you know, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing until we get to a place where it's better. Um, you know, I the the lack of sleep is starting to catch up with me fairly quickly. Um, so I'm trying to make like time for nap time, but that's really difficult to do um, with everything that I do. So, um, you know. We're just, uh, it's worth it. It's worth it for them. They deserve to have good, happy lives. So, um, I will work very hard. If that means in six months, they will be able to, you know, be happy with each other and hang out together. So that's what, that's what matters to me. 
All right, let's see, what are we doing next? So that set us up in an interesting way where the world outside of here, it, I, I kind of like that because it kind of tells us like, while you're in here, all this shit that we left behind um, is still going on. Like it's still happening, it's still functioning, those people still exist, there's still stuff going on, even though we're in this completely different world. Um, there's still those things out there that we need to pay attention to. So I actually really, really like that. I thought that was really cool. Get them to get, you, should, you could just get them their own house. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I imagine Estinian, or not Estinian, Alfie has called for us. Um, is wearing a grave expression. Wait, what? An unwelcome guest. <gasps> is Vothri here? Oh, shit. You guys think Vothri's pissed off that we killed one of the Lightbringers? Ah, begging your pardon, sir, but do you perchance intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise you not to stray too far from the Crystrium. Word has it, Yulmore has dispatched its military to Lakeland. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the Exarch is in the Oculum deliberating a response. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you forgot, your own world is still facing a climate crisis. Right. Oh shit, they coming for us. That's alright. I'm ready. Punch these guys right in the face. Oh, it's on now. Like Donkey Kong. Am I right? I'm so funny. Like the Arkin? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is the world. Are you guys still here? Punch them with your little arms. I got it. I will definitely punch them. Bothries be like, where's my painting? Oh, maybe. Yeah, he's here for... I thought, I thought the Chai's wanted their painting. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I'll be happy to escort you to the ocular. Yes, please. Damn, you guys are going to be super fit. Those guys, Yeah, you guys are going to be really, really, really strong. Yo, what is going on outside? Vothri's here. I assume. You I don't know. A good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Vothri's probably not here because I bet that ship couldn't fly with him in it. Oh, that's cool. Lax and loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. Shoot it down. Questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. True, actually, yeah. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. Knock, knock. My lord, I am come with the Yulmore emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. It's like some Wizard of Oz shit. Everyone, gather around. Oh, we're gonna whisper? Shh, guys. We're gonna have a secret meeting. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Yo, what? Enter. Wait, who is it? 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 The Thancred? No. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? General Ranjit? That guy looks scary.
The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. Were your people responsible? No. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. There shouldn't be any relationship between man and Sin Eater, to be honest. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. That guy's scar is ridiculous. Oh shit, it's Ranjit. Oh shit, it's Ranjit. He's gonna hit you with his punchy hands and kicking feet. Oh my god. <laughs> so he's threatening us, basically. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Yeah, lay it on him. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Yeah. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots at its rotting course. It will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. What? But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. I feel like we just got threatened. Like, he know there's no way he doesn't know we're here. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. No way, can he see us? Can he see us? He totally knows. He looked right at us. You might as well just let us out and we just fight him. All four of us right here. Surely we win that, right? things or did he just stare straight at us I fear he did the general is not a man to be trifled with he is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmore's army since before Vorthry's time when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters has he ever heard of the warrior of light write an emissary no kill an emissary here one step above that one does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. Where do we go, Alfie? It is noble of you to say, Master Alphino, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. 
The people of the Crystarium know this only too well. Which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. They, they may have to. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. I mean, he kind of did. <laughs> he may have reason to delay. What's that reason, Lena? According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. Oh, fuck. Did they get one of our friends? Hi, Escha. How are you? How was your vacation that you went on forever ago? <laughs> a young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It is Minfilia! When we watched the trailer, I said it was. But what? Why is she a little girl? It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Wait, having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Yeah, I'm sorry, generations of Minfilias? I'm sorry, what? Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. Because it was, so Minfilia being the Oracle of Light, she... She's not really a person, she's an extension of Hydaelyn? And so I guess it wouldn't be that weird for there to be multiple Minfilias across multiple gener- like... Shards? I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He'll be able to enlighten me. Oh, our boy Moren. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. Yeah, what? <laughs> In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. For war. Another picture book. That's right. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. I wanted to ask you guys too, particularly those of you that are over on YouTube. Is it better not having the bot spamming all of the messages from um, Twitch? Go get educated, kindergarten style. That's right. I'm gonna put my feet up, bring my little sack of lunch. <laughs> or do you, or do you guys prefer having the bot? Because technically, the bot is against TOS. I think I like it better. It makes it easier for me uh, to read both the chats. Um, but I want to know what you guys thought too. He sees the dwarf and thinks, "Ah, it's time to read the ch child's story." Rude. <laughs> He needs to not think that. It's freaking rude. Look, another sprout. I, well, one of these other streamers that I follow, um, and they were in A Realm Reborn like two or three months ago, and they're already ahead of me in this story. But they've just slammed the MSQ, and whenever I watch them, well, they're ahead of me now. But when I was watching them before, they had no idea what was going on, like about anything. I prefer the bot, especially if Twitch can see what we post. That way we can cross-communicate. If it's easier for you, then that's good. Okay. So I try to read messages out loud, which lets people comment on it. And then you guys can kind of comment back and forth if you want. Um, but what's nice about Final Fantasy is there's enough people on YouTube for us to make a little community on YouTube and Twitch. And they can be separate communities. Um, and then like, you know, if we ever decide to do a Twitch only stream or YouTube only stream, then we can come together in those points. But I want, I want them to kind of be a little separate. Now you understand our <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> get the chat rivalry going? Maybe. Separate. Too bad you get me in both places now. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I would love to have people across both platforms, but, you know. If you think it risks you getting in trouble, it's fine not to. The cross-communication is nice. I feel like a lot of times, though, like, 
mostly you guys are just messaging me and so like i feel like it hasn't hindered that communication that much and when people want to talk to people they usually are just like in there you know we are legion that's right dragon people who binge the msq get to shadowbringers and suddenly can't keep up with the story and lore and have forgotten everything that just happened <laughs> i mean it's a lot to keep up with but i think um i've been going really slow oh, i just got a warning that my my throne and liberty closed beta account has been closed sweet that's fine thank you for letting me know um but i think going slow has been really beneficial so more friends, more beta. I, Dragon said you guys are legion. How do you get that deep in the MSQ and at least have a clue of what's going on? I don't know. I saw a um, a video and I think it was... His name's Arthas, I think. Um, he's a pretty big Final Fantasy XIV streamer. I don't actually know his name, but I think it's Arthas. And I don't, I don't think he was being serious. But he was like, he had a bunch of pictures up on the wall. It was a short and he was going through and like saying the wrong names to everybody. Um... Arthur's? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Arth Arthar's? Maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't actually. I try not to watch um, too many, too many streamers um, for Final Fantasy 14. He skips, does he skip, he, does he skip the MSQ? I thought that was Zeno. I don't, it wasn't Asmin. Uh, I know it wasn't Asmin, but it was a, uh, yeah, it was a high-end raider person. He, I think he's bald and he's got a big beard. It was Zeno? Okay. And he was like, he was like saying stuff like about pictures on the wall but he was saying them the the, the wrong names um so yeah yeah and i knew he was doing it on purpose but i was like how many people out there actually feel like that though you know i slammed through the msq from also hello chuck how are you from realm reborn to endwalker in a span of three months honestly realm reborn i was confused but when i got to heaven's ward stormblood shadowbringers and endwalker the story was a lot more in detail and i understood it a lot more i think I think I agree with that, actually, Chuck. When I was done with the Realm Reborn, we were kind of in Heaven's Ward. I was like, I don't really know what's going on. Um, but Stormblood and now Shadowbringers, like, everything's kind of coming together. Everything's kind of coming to a point. It does feel really good. I have a friend who has been on the edge of replaying Realm Reborn because she was not paying attention the first time around. And now she cares so much. I keep having to explain basic stuff to her, like tempering. <laughs> not tempering. <laughs> that was pretty early game. <laughs> Xenos actually skips to unlock raids and such faster, but he later goes back and does it on his own. Oh, okay, sick. The benefit of taking your time and doing as much of the side content as you can. So I do a lot of the side content, but I also like, I only play one day a week. And I think that helps a lot. In my opinion, I think it helps a lot um, to kind of, you know, uh, have the breaks in between stuff. Uh, because it feels like it just makes the world feel longer, I guess. Um, the gaps there are gaps yeah they may make but I think it makes the gaps for me since the gaps aren't actually there like I could sit and slam this all the way out like it artificially creates those gaps I think it makes the game feel better Alpha saying Alanod are the best <laughs> what Cammy are you okay <laughs> there are people who have compiled MSQ cutscenes on YouTube save some time compared to playing again oh you mean there are gaps in the videos oh, okay my friend didn't pay attention to Realm Reborn and then got completely blindsided by the banquet. Oh my god, I pay attention to the whole thing, and the banquet was still like, holy shit. Like, that was the first time I was like, this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Like, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's my tangent on the story. But yeah, I was, I was watching them, and um, they were doing, they were picking up their first roll quest. And I was like, I didn't understand what was going on until just now when I got there. I didn't realize that was a part of the MSQ. I thought it was a part of just like some sort of quest that they were picking up, like some sort of side quest. So I didn't watch it because when I opened it, I was like, this is look like something I should watch. Um, but like they were talking about, I don't remember what they were talking about. I don't remember. Like, they haven't done any trials. They haven't done any raids. They haven't done any coils. They haven't done like anything. And so all they know is the MSQ and they barely understand the MSQ. And I was like, what is happening? You know? I have a hard enough time in this world, much less everything going on throughout Shadowbringers world. That's true. <laughs> What's going on, Dad? Since you're also doing the raids and such between expansion, it's going to be an extremely long time until you finish the MSQ at once a week. No, absolutely. And I'm totally fine with that, Esha. And, you know, I'm fine taking my time. I'm fine going really slow. It feels really good. Um, you know, I think if I had sped run through it, we would be in Endwalker right now and I'd be trying to play something else. And a lot of you guys probably would have even found me. Um, and so I'm fine going really slow, taking my time, making sure, you know, doing it the way that I want to play it, um, and, you know, incorporating other games into it as well. So that way then, um, I am not burning out either. So every time we play, like, it's fun, you know, the interactions are always high energy, things like that. So 
My favorite fun fact about tempering is that originally the plan was to make each primal have their own verb, one that was appropriate to the primal, like tempering was a frit, touch was removed, drown was for the biotin, but they ended up using tempered for all of them. I'm glad they didn't do that because that would have been really hard to stay on top of. And it would have been really like, especially with like the number of primals that keep getting introduced, like it would have been really hard. Like what would, what would, um, what was her name in Stormblood? I forgot her name already. Why speed run through 10 years of content? It's not going anywhere. I agree. Grinding gear guys similar did side content between, but they also stream more often, so they just finished 6.0. Yeah, I definitely go really slow. The lack of coils and Omega are honestly tragic. Yeah, and coil coils is fantastic. I recommended that to everybody. And Omega was really great too. It sucks how inaccessible coils is. That story's so good. They need to incorporate it somehow into the MSQ. Like the story, some part of it needs to be incorporated, you know? This pacing of the story has been perfect, I think. I think we incorporate like just enough every week where every week we're like, holy shit. Oh my god, you know, I think it's great. I think they would have only done it for the first six that there were for the six elements. Oh, I see, okay. Actually, that just makes sense right now, but I'm still glad they made it one thing. Susano could make rough. <laughs> That'd be cool, actually. The strategy was like, do some content to make a long form video on their reactions and theories. That's basically how I'm doing it too. Um, my theories though are mostly only live though. The main one, the main, the main, the main, the main girl from Stormblood, Chuck. Um, Frick, what's her name, dude? I can see her face. She had the black hair, she had the terrible past. No, not Lise. No, not Blondie McPunch. Oh, no, not Lise. Still not Lise. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, the girl. Yo, to you. Thank you, Rando. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All of us trying to remember what her name is. Yeah, Yotsuyu. What would hers be? What would her tempering be when she became a primal? Or like, what element is that? I'm not in the MSQ, but they did add a sort of what happened in Coil side quest for those who didn't do it. Oh, did they? Bunnies. Shut up, KCAT. <laughs> Light and dark. Moonstruck. Mockification. <laughs> <laughs> um, did they? Did they add something like that, Elaine? I think I do think I remember. You, I don't think I remember there being a quest like that. Mokification. Oh, like the food. Oh, Sims. No, probably not. That's probably not accurate at all. <laughs> Mochi. She eats dango. You fool. She does. Dango element. <laughs> During the last anniversary event. Is that quest still there, Elaine, or was it only during the anniversary event? Because I remember doing it, I think. It just it just reminds who Louis Swat is, what he did in 1.0. I mean, it's nice, but I really like um, that side quest for Quarrels is almost nothing to tell you anything. It tells you all kinds of stuff, especially about like Alpha No and Alice. Like, there's so much information there between like um, their characters, who they are, what happens. Um, you know, like it covers like 1.0, but like. That's important information, and it gets referenced. This, the seventh Umbral Calamity gets referenced so much. It's good information to have. It's still there. Okay, good. I'm glad that it's still there. I'm glad people have something that they can pick up. I have never done coils. Has a 30 minute wait time for me when I try to queue into it. You need a full party for it if you're doing it synced. Do people think we meet Alice for the first time in Heaven's Word? Those people have never done coils. Yeah, exactly. And like, I think the reason I like Alice so much is because of the Coils Raid, like doing the Coils Raid and learning what you can through the Coils Raid about her and her relationship with Louis Swan and things like that. Um, Chuck, if you're in the Discord, I'm sure some people would love to run it with you one day, or you can do it um, unsynced or something. People think... You gotta get someone to take you on a tour unsynced through Coils if you don't make a full party of it. Oh, you guys are all, okay. I thought you guys were also talking to me, yeah. We had to do the last, um, the last round of coils unsynced um, because I was unable to. We were unable to get enough people. I think for like two or three weeks in a row, and we were moving into heavens. When I was like, "All right, we have to knock this out. Like, we're done. Like, I want to get this finished." You know, like, <laughs> buddy, what's up, dude? Why are you so restless? What's wrong? Why you keep walking back and forth? You starving? Yeah. We got 20 minutes. You got 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes and then mom will play with you and you'll get dinner, okay? Okay. You're okay, buddy.
probably go. I don't know. You think you should? I don't know. Probably try treat first, and then play in the dinner. He might be bored. He's he's hungry. He so there we're trying to so like I, like I was telling you guys like we are incorporating like some, some new medicine into their into their lives right now. And so we're trying to get. We just started doing it a couple days ago. Um, well, I guess it's been about a week now. Um, and so we're trying to get it to the right place where like it works, where the medicine isn't inter impacting like their normal day lives. We haven't quite figured. And that's what my girlfriend was just asking me. Is like when should we give it to him? Um, and so it's like a interesting like because now he's coming off of the medicine, but he's also hungry, and so he's in this weird like between where he's not medicated but he's starving. And so it's like, okay, we can't have that. Like that's not good, right? And so it's like, okay, now we have to try to find you know a, a an in between where you know he's not hungry and he's also medicated at this time of night. So we'll we'll figure it out. Without going into too much detail, it's basically where we're at, so... Alright, you guys ready for more? I appreciate you guys entertaining that conversation with me. Um, I'm glad that you guys enjoy the pace, too. Because uh, I do not plan on... We... So, I we may... We may pick up the pace um, when we're done with Rising Zero Dawn. I actually had this thought. Because I don't know what I want to play after Rising Zero Dawn. I don't think the second one is going to play very well on my computer while I stream it. So I may wait to play that one until I can actually play it and stream it at the same time. Um, so we may wait, and I may just play Final Fantasy XIV up through the release of, um, the new expansion, and then, um, then go back to two, then go back to two days, uh, or one a day, um, especially with where we are kind of in this story where I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting hooked a little bit, so. I used to give my cat Gabapentin for going to the vet. The first time the dose was so high that he couldn't walk straight for 12 hours. Jesus. Yeah, they're not quite like that. Um, I think he got. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to give too much detail, um, just because of what's going on with him. It's not like terrible, but um, yeah. Yes, gap and more more questions. That's right. I'm gonna talk to these two. I Mir gave good feedback a while ago that I don't talk to the people enough in the world, so I'm gonna try to make a better job of doing that. <laughs> Whatever you think Morin's going to tell you about Memphilia, it won't be what you're expecting. Just trust me. Wait, what? Wait, do they know? It seems an age since we bade Memphilia farewell. It's true, actually. Okay. Um, is there anybody else here? No, it's just Morin. Okay. Yes, if you're after books pertaining to the Warrior of Darkness, I'm afraid most are out on loan at present. They're experiencing quite a surge in popularity. Gee, I wonder why. It's your playthrough, you do it, but this is the expect talk to people if you're going to pick one. Yeah, well, and when you said it, like, it was one of those things where it was like, I can't guarantee that I'm always going to do it, but when I think about it, it's like, you know, I do care about the world building stuff, I do care about that stuff developing, and so I should talk to the people when I remember. I don't always do it, um, and so I can't make that promise, but I would like to, I, I do would like to try, for sure, because uh, I do like it, for sure. You wish to learn more? You wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it would be my pleasure to assist. After I've finished off some few outstanding tasks, that is. While I attend to them, perhaps you could fetch me a book. The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides. I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Menphilia. But you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Should, I say. For while there is a place for everything here, not everything is always in its place, despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, it will almost certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck. This is the worst librarian in the whole world. <laughs> Search the shelves. Okay, probably not the worst librarian. That's probably just, like, normal, honestly. Norm like, that's probably just normal for most people, honestly. Might be the last librarian? True. Never, never heard from again. Just as your eyes begin to blur, they finally come to rest on a copy of the illustrated tale of the Oracle of Light. Wow, first go. Found it first go. He's doing his best. He's the only one who cares about this whole huge library. True, actually. Um, and I imagine, like, normal, normal libraries are probably the same way, where they're like, hey, this is where it's supposed to be. If it's not there, I don't know where it's going to be. Like, <laughs> I can't imagine it's any different. 
First try, that's right. First try, found it. Alright, Morn, I got the book. Have you found the book? Yeah, here you go. Bazinga. Yes, this is the one. I hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I've finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. Yay, learning! I'm gonna pull up my seat, my chair here. Um, mods, can I just have you guys keep a lookout for ads? They might be trying to run in the next, like, 5-10 minutes. Without further ado, then. It began a hundred years ago, when the flood of light threatened to swallow Norvrand. And just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance. A maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear as sapphire. Naught was known about her, save that her name was Menphilia. And for delivering the realm, she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But 15 years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear, reappear in the annals of history. Oh, there she is. Look at that. When Sin Eaters laid ruin to the kingdom of Vobert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch. This is terrifying. This picture is terrifying. One with hair spun gold and eyes of clearest sapphire. Excuse me. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came to likewise be called Infilia. Enlisting in the Yulmoran army, this Menphilia fought and vanquished countless Sin Eaters. Jesus. Alas, like so many other soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. Yet with her dying breath, she whispered unto her grieving comrades, Menphilia will return. Wait, like, she knows? Like, so she's conscious of her being reborn? And true to her words, some years later, another young girl was discovered who possessed the self-same eyes, that self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She took two, she too took the name Minfilium. She too fought Sin Eaters as a soldier of Yulmore, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and so the cycle continues to this day. Interesting. Hey, Shadow Ringers! What's going on, Random? I would hang this art in my house. That art is creepy. <laughs> Are they always hit me with the more than truth? I don't know. Have a good dinner, Mel. I can't believe I just noticed this book reminds me of Madoka Magica. Yeah, somebody else on YouTube was mentioning it too. Are you familiar with the anim anime Madoka Magica? I don't watch any anime. Maybe that makes me terrible, but I haven't watched... I don't really watch any anime. The book style is based on the anime. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, cool. No, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. Like I said, maybe that means I suck, but I don't know anything. That doesn't make you terrible. I d <laughs> so that concludes the tale. So Minfilia is a wizard, and she's just reborn constantly. 
By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Norvrand on numerous occasions. And were it not for them, we might never have learned of the Light Wardens and their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Some, perhaps. The truth is rather less simple, though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits. She does not inherit the memories or the knowledge of her previous incarnations. All the Memphilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant of the power they harbored. While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. But all were made to face the Senators, and all died to keep our hopes alive. Wait, what? What can you tell us of the current Memphilia? And so Yulmore came to get the current Memphilia, right? Valthry? That's what they told us when we were meeting, is that Valthry came to get her, right? Does it mean you don't want to animate? I, I don't. Don't hate me, please. This song is more than truth. It's like a sad version of Maker's Ruin, which is our theme. Aww. Hope you've been enjoying the MSQ. It's been fantastic, Random. Thank you so much for asking. We have, uh, I don't remember when you last watched. It may have been Heaven's Word or Realm Reborn. But uh, we just finished Stormblood and we're kind of, you know, working our way into uh, Shadowbringer, so it's good to see you, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. What can you tell us of the current Minfilia? She was found by the Yulmoran army some 10 years ago and taken into their care, or rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name, for by that time, under Lord Valthry's rule, Yulmoran had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Wait, so if I had known this before we went to Yulmore, could we see her in prison somewhere in there? Or no? Infilia was an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to fight, a potential threat to the peace, and so they kept her under lock and key. Okay. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was in Yulmoran's best interests for her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. So no. Wait. Three years ago. Is that Thancred? The Thancred who rushed in there and saved her? I mean, I'm inferring from the cut from the trailer as well, but it must have been... Yeah, because in the trailer, Thancred's fighting off the big, Valthry's big uh, Sin Eater lion dude. Had to be Thancred. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a grasp of Amphilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Morn. I love Morn. Might I trouble you for a word, Kelsor? Outside. Am I in trouble? I feel like I'm in trouble. I'm about to be scolded by Alfie. What was that, uh, shoot, one of you guys asked me to add an emote to the... Oh, frick, I don't have my thing up. I didn't even open my notes, you guys. I'm not prepared for stream tonight, I guess. Um, I didn't add that emote, Tastage. I don't remember who asked me to add that, but I didn't add it, and I want to apologize. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, before we go get scolded by Alfie... How's that book, Pantsless? Is it good? Pantsless, why you got pants on, bro? What's going on here? Uh, before we go talk to Alfie, it is about that time to run another ad. So for anybody out there who is new or unsubbed, every hour I try to run three minutes of ads. What that does is it lets me disable those pre-rolls, but it also lets me control when you guys get hit with ads. We're not doing anything, we're not talking to anybody, we're not doing any cutscenes or anything like that while you guys are being hit with the ads. I'm going to get up, I'm going to go get some more water, I'm going to check on the babies, my girlfriend, see what's going on there, and I'll be right back in about three minutes. You guys get up, get some snacks, get some water, and we'll keep going here in just a couple minutes. Catch you guys soon. If you are on Rap God, shut up. If you are on YouTube, you will not get hit with any commercials. So enjoy the chair stream.
put it back. Just kidding. I am not gonna go downstairs. My girlfriend is, she has a system in place right now for uh, the babies. I don't wanna interrupt that system, so. Um, I'm just gonna keep myself locked in my room here. We're gonna be quiet, like little, little ants. Um, I will warn you guys now, maybe not so much a warning. My nose is still running, what the frick, man? Um, if my girlfriend needs my help in the next like 10, 15 minutes, um, I will be hopping off early again this evening, so. Uh, to go assist her with them. I like the touch of playing the poster class for Shadowbringers. Thanks, dude. It was, um, yeah. And we'll, we'll be we'll be leveling Paladin for the next one, too. So I, I put the axe up and picked up the two-handed sword for uh, for Shadowbringers, for sure. <laughs> we're definitely chilling. Um, yeah, I, when do we make that decision? I feel like we made that decision, like, day one. We were like, what should we do? Should we, should we make that choice? Should we make that happen? And we were like, well, and I think, I think when we came here, my Dark Knight was like level 62, 63, was it 63, 64? And I leveled it in like one weekend. I just like sat down and grinded a frickload of dungeons um, and got them ready for, uh, for Shadowbringers. So uh, it's been great. It's been sick. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, <clears throat> we had a hide and seek event. Was that two weeks ago, you guys? We did that hide and seek event. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think that's it, really. I mean, we did, uh, what did, what did, we did, um, we did a Stormblood, uh, try, we did the Stormblood Trials? No, we went back to Heaven's Word, and we did, uh, the Warring Triad. That's right. Dark Knight's way too complicated for me. I just haven't leveled for the glory weapons. It's... Yeah, it's interesting for sure. It was your birthday weekend, so yeah, two weeks, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you're right, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, we, we were just chilling. Yeah, Dark Knight's pretty, uh, pretty interesting for sure. Of of the tanks, definitely feels a bit more complicated, um, but I like it. I think it's fun. I, it'll be nice because I will have leveled Warrior through all of Stormblood. I will have leveled Dark Knight through all of Shadowbringers, and then I will level Paladin through all of Endwalker. Um, and then maybe we'll level Gunbreaker through all of um, Dawn Trail, and then I will have played all four classes, um, and then we can kind of fart around with all of them uh, at max level when we get there, and maybe I can make a guide. That'd be fun, yeah? Maybe. I feel like, I feel like tanking's not super complicated um, in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Hit the things. Don't take the damage, basically. All right, nerds. So for anybody who just came back from that commercial break, just a heads up. Um, my girlfriend has a system for feeding the kitties right now. Um, but if she ends up needing my help in the next, like, 10, 15 minutes, I will be stopping ending stream early, and I will be going and helping with that. If not, we will keep this train rolling until 11. So step one, hit the things. Step two, how to get through all the MSQ without ever using your invulnerability. Eh, that's not that big of a deal. What's the step two? Step one, hit the thing, step two. Step two is just blank, Cammy. What's the step two, Cammy? Exactly. <laughs> Use your vulnerability or else, okay. Have you ever watched the crap guides to Final Fantasy? Um, by, um, Joe Cat? Yeah, we, we watched a couple of them. Mission accomplished. Look, I did it. Now you can't say I've never used it. I use it sometimes, but I try to save it for, like, really shitty situations. They're so great. They're really funny. I think we watched the healer guide one. Taking it super easy until you hit, like, ultimates. Yeah, I, I could feel that. I I think what makes thinking hard is when you're, like, leveling still, and you try to do, like, really, really, really big pools. Um... And they kind of just like, like you fuck yourself. <laughs> they're actually, they, they'll actually be funnier now that you've played more. Maybe I'll go back and watch them for sure. For sure. Cause didn't, didn't Joe Cat stop? Wasn't he like bullied or something? This seems a sustainable place for chat. Okay, so we're gonna chat here. Me tanking, like where the hell am I going? I guess what's nice about these dungeons, so in World of Warcraft, you have, um, I, we'll nerd, we'll, we'll nerd some wild stuff for a second. You have Mythic Plus dungeons, and you need a percentage of the forces 
which are just like the NPCs in the dungeons. And so Final Fantasy dungeons are very like, they're very linear, at least so far they are. Whereas in World of Warcraft, you have like a multitude of options and stuff that you can pursue while you're in those dungeons. And so it becomes much more difficult in WoW because you have to not only get a percentage of the forces, but you want to make sure that you only pull just enough to get a 100% of the forces to finish the Mythic Plus. So the pathing becomes super duper 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 important. Um, so tanking in World of Warcraft is way harder um, as far as like where you're going. I don't know about like as far as like actual gameplay, like I would say they're probably about the same. Um, but as far as pathing goes, and wow, it's ridiculous. I think they stopped making videos. Yeah, I think you're right. Alright, okay, you guys ready to talk to Alfie? This looks like this is going to finish up this quest too. Uh, which is perfect. How? I'm nowhere near... Like, am I like halfway through Shadowbringers? Or not even, huh? Like, I'm probably like barely scratching the surface at the beginning of Shadowbringers, huh? Oh, hell nah. Oh, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I used to try playing WoW again, but I still can't read the fights. Sometimes, sometimes WoW can be interesting for sure. 10%? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't know why I asked that. I was like, we're like at the very beginning. You're not like even to the second zone. No, we did the second zone already. We've done two zones already. We went to, um, cause here's Lakeland. We've been to Amarang. We've been to Clusia. So we haven't even been to like the third or fourth zones yet, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. We haven't been to very many places yet. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna talk to Alfie before you guys bully me. Rude. When you get an achievement and a meanwhile, you can think of it as a chapter. Okay, yes, yeah, so we just did a chapter. You're like in Act 1 of Shadowbringer still. We're like 2.5%. Jesus Christ. I didn't really count those because you're definitely not done with those zones. No, I'm not even close to being done with those zones. I tried to explore the whole zones, but they don't let you. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, Randall, yeah, you guys did the same thing, yeah. Because there's, like, half the map is still, like, not even half, like, three quarters of that map I can't even go to still, but yeah. As you have already surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Minfilia was none other than our dear Thancred. That's right. I pay attention. They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. Okay. So he's been here for five years, so it took him two years to figure out that Minfilia had been captured. She'd been captured ten years ago. So... Hang on. I think I might have to go after this, you guys. Three zones singly be count Lakeland. That's true, actually. Um, we're gonna finish watching this, and I think I'm gonna get out of here. Um, Henry's kind of being a pain in the butt, so I'm gonna go help my girlfriend with him. While we're still trying to figure out this new, this new system for him. So, so yeah. So Thancred. So Thancred got here five years ago. She was captured ten ten years ago, right? Um, and then three years ago, he broke in and got her out. So that's interesting uh so she was in clusia or yulmore for what was that seven years six years seven six years there was a six year what, what was the six mention of six years in there before that i missed but that's that's why i haven't been able to find them because sancred has been taking little baby minfilia and they've been like running around all over the place so that's cool we know that minfilia journeyed here as heidelin's emissary to hold the flood of light it could only be her that the people of the first witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. 
But while there's plainly some connection between the woman we knew and her namesake, the fact that these girls do not share her memories must surely mean they are not the same person. Thankred has to understand that. Maybe, but I bet he has a hard time like distinguishing since six years since the last Infilia. Okay, thank you. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. I mean, I'm sure he feels some sort of pull towards Minfilia, right? Regardless, the Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. So where is Thancred then? So if she's been recaptured, wouldn't it be, make sense for him to also have been recaptured? If she's been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. So we have to find him. There you go again, talking in a roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. It just so happens I agree with you. It's quite certain that this Minfilia possesses Heidelin's blessing. True. And it couldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side. Right, Killzor? Absolutely. Because then, then she can help. I see you've made up your minds. Is this Thancred? Ah, oh, fuck. The Exarch, damn it. Not that I'm not happy to see the Exarch, but frick. What brings you here? report and a proposal first the report our scouts have confirmed that the yomorian forces at lax and loft do indeed have minfilia in their custody okay lax and loft for the present they are holding her there but we can be certain they will move her to yomor ere long should that happen we may be forced to give her up as lost shit so if we mean to act we should do so quickly yeah we're gonna have to which brings me to my proposal I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of the Crystarium. Huh? What? Yay, level 73. Um, I, I hate to cliffhanger you guys there, but uh, I really should go help my girlfriend with the cats. I more meant after the last one Philia died, this one showed up six years later. So like... We have seen, like, she all of a sudden, like, we started seeing her six years later. It wasn't that, like, she was born. We just started, like, oh, there she is. Um, as, like, a person. Yeah? That's what you mean? Um, if you guys want to come sit by the uh, campfire, I'm just going to toss it down right here. We're going to try to have a normal outro here. Okay. That does make sense. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, I just want to say thank you guys, as always, for coming and hanging out with me. I apologize for the abrupt ending, but... Uh, like I said, I want to go assist my girlfriend with the kitties because they appear to be driving her nuts um, and they're being very naughty, it sounds like. Um, but I will catch you guys next time where we will hopefully rescue Minfilia. We'll have some stuff going on. I'm sure some of you guys really wanted to um, continue this on. And I, I apologize. Like I said, two weeks in a row, we've kind of cut this short. But uh, So I will get this out to you guys sometime next week. Um, this weekend, we will be back in Horizon Zero Dawn. As always, we're going to go north up to the ruins. We're going to check in with Olin, see what's going on there, um, and kind of just kind of mess around with that um, on Saturday. Otherwise, please check out the question section of the Discord. Um, Arkin has proposed a content idea that we may pursue. We may pursue that either next Wednesday um, or we may dedicate. I can't imagine it'll take that much time, you know, maybe 30 minutes of a stream to kind of put something aside to go through some of that stuff. It could be fun. It could be funny. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, please make sure you react over on the Discord. If you're not in the Discord and you're over on YouTube, it should be down below, kind of in the... Uh, description section otherwise here's the link for the discord here are the link to the rest of the socials if you're on youtube it should be down below and then here's just kind of a list to a buttload of other videos that i have over on um youtube and so if you're on youtube you're gonna have to do some digging there's here's the hide and seek video from last year it should be gone a couple weeks ago the latest video should be last week's video that came out um i think that's it for everybody. Otherwise, you guys, hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will catch you guys on Saturday. Bye, guys. Take it easy.